Hi guys. Happy Mother's Day to you if you are a mother. Um, otherwise, just happy day. Happy Sunday. Um, I've had a wonderful day today. <laughs> and I'm super full and I'm so excited for this class. We're going to have a good one today. Um, guys, always remember to, I should probably have told you this beforehand, but if you ever want to put a heater on you, just like in our other classes, it always just feels so good for me to open up just a little bit more with a heater, but it's totally up to you. Okay. Um, so let's get started. Um, we are, I just want to discuss the three principles before we do that. And of course, those are resistance, stillness, and time. So remember, it's resistance in terms of it's a, it's a stretch that you feel. It's a five or a six. It's not a seven or an eight. Okay, and the reason why is because we're stretching our tendons and our ligaments, we're opening up our jo joint capsules, we are not stretching the big muscles. But this is just as important, okay? And we call it yin yang yoga because it's the complement to the yang, the power yoga. Okay, so I love this practice. I'm so excited for you guys to be with me today. Um, and just also remember to practice just a soft breath. And that just means to be aware of your breath. And really try and stay in the practice today. Don't think about what you have to do after this or your list for the grocery store. Just try and stay in the practice and you'll get a better result. Um, and remember, you're gonna have those tight movement uh, moments. You'll feel tightness in certain areas. Breathe into those tight spots, okay? All right, so today, the first thing I want us to do is just lie back, grab behind the knees, and just roll back and forth, kind of massaging the back. Just a few more, like three more. Three, two, and one. Good, now stay. Here, push your back into the ground and just kind of bring the knees back and forth. And then just roll the knees around. And just give your back a little mini massage, lower back. And just start to breathe, be conscious of your breath. How was your breath today? Be conscious of your thoughts. What's on your mind? So you can be conscious of those thoughts, but then just let them go. But now from here, you're gonna extend both legs straight up. You're gonna bring that right leg and you're gonna bend the knee. And you're gonna bring that right hand through that little hole there, bend the knee and go into like a half pigeon, it's like a modified half pigeon. This is gonna be your first pose for today, just melt into the pose. Remember, you only want like a five. So feel it right here. You need to, you can pull a little bit deeper and stronger. But remember, it's really important to melt into this pose. And just breathe. Thank you. 
don't speak too much during the end because I really want you to focus on your breath. Just being aware of your body. It's more important than anything I would have to say to you. So try and do that. Bring your awareness to your body and your breath. Take a deep breath in, and then we're going to bring the knees into the chest. Give them a little squeeze. Hold up. Give that lower back a break a massage. And you're going to extend that left leg down. You're going to bring that right leg for supine twists, we're going to extend the right hand, but today we're going to look left. And I once again just want you to melt into this. Try to keep your hand on your knee if you can, just to give you that little glute stretch. If that's too much, you can always let it go. Just try. Remember, our yin is a soft practice. There's no right or wrong. You let your body melt into the pose. How you feel the body should melt into the pose. And that's right.
extend that left hand out. Turn towards the right. Just melt into it. Melt into that pose. Your twist, your spinal twist. Just remember to really let your body be happy. Slowly, very slowly, come out of that. Remember, the principle of time within yoga is very, very essential because your tendons in your ligaments don't start to actually open to open up the joint muscles until after two and a half minutes. Okay, so grab the high knees, rock and roll. Alright, so now we're going to do butterfly. And so, next will be side of how you do the side. Which you can still do. Okay, so this is too much. I want you to do butterfly. So, we bring the heels in close to the right. If that's too much of a stretch, you can always do your long butterfly for your time. Okay? But I want you to try for a butterfly. 
Remember, it's all about what's good for you. So bring those heels in close to the groin, and you can either drop the hands down in front. You can drop the elbows. If you're very flexible, you can actually extend the arms out. Okay, so it's all up to you. Remember, we only want maximum resistance of a six. We're not stretching those big muscles. We're getting into the joint muscles. Keeping that synovial fluid flowing again. You'll feel so much better tomorrow as we do. Stillness and time. Something I never thought I could do. Everyone can do it. So remember, if you feel the stretch too much, you come out of it a little bit. If you're not feeling it enough, you go to that next track. Okay? These words we first find the world is bright in the sun now it's sleeping. Blue your eyes when you some time to reach your so we hold Our 
hips, you're gonna bring that right leg forward. Try and press the heel down if you do it. Just ease that left leg back a little bit. Keeping the top of the foot on the ground and try and open up. So grab the foot parallel. Trying to drop that knee a little bit. You can stay here. This is enough to stretch the your toes. Knee four, drop down. And remember, you can always choose. If it costs too much, come out of it. It's not enough, come down. Side to side on this one, holding up the hip. Squeeze your breath.
also press the sole of the foot back down if it's too much. One arm down and not the other. What feels good to you? What's opening you up? Where do you feel that resistance? But not pain. Interlace those fingers behind the back and open up into your proud swan. We're going to hold this pose just for a minute. One minute, guys. Go to where you are at. Melt into it.
then slowly come forward to your waxing song. So you can bring your forehead to your hand, to your walk, to your back. And just melt into the whole head, more than this. Breath in, slowly, very slowly come out of it. I mean, teacher said slowly, not fast. <laughs> Good. Go back into child pose just for a moment. Move side to side. Come back into your downward facing dog. This is just our gentle dog. Bring that left leg up. Knee to nose, bend the knee, cross the foot. Stand that right knee out. Crouch long. Stay here. Press back. One side is always harder for me, and it seems to change for me. Go and try. Just go with your body. Do what your body wants. To. If you want a deeper stretch, go further. You need a little bit more of a rest this week. Don't go as far. Feel that resistance. Let it go. What do you mean to let go today? Let it go. Breathe. Let it go. So teaching this practice at times when I visualize. I go into something and I feel all these emotions flooding through and I cry and you guys, you know, I'm thinking of it. But that happens sometimes, not to pay. So let me split it up. Over 
comfortable for you guys, okay? So just here, that's fine. Can you bring your forehead down if you want? Also, bring your forehead to your hands. My friend Nancy Temple, when she does resting swan, she does this beautiful thing. Each side is created equal. You will have more like this on one side than the other, usually. Just go with that. So hopefully you guys have blocks. If you don't, it's okay. And really, you only need one block for this, but you can use two. So go into a deep camo. You can have the block, the block tall wing. And this other block flat. The block's going to go in the center of the spine. You can also just use like a big towel or something like that. Palm from facing up. Let that head go on to the block. If that's too much, you can kind of just put the block flat. And if the block is flat, you also don't need this one. Let that head hang. Go for it. Melt into your pose, guys. Just melt into that camel. Really open up the chest. Back, shoulders. So good. So good.
Onto your mat, slowly, very slowly. Ooh. Back, back. Open your up nice and deep. So we're going to set up for Shavasana. And we're going to do Sukta Baddha Konasana for Shavasana. So we're going to bring the heels close together like our butterfly. And then we're just going to lay back. And just close your eyes, bring your palms up, and melt into the mat. Just last few minutes for yourself. Breathe. Is there anything else that you've been holding on to that you need to let go? Let it go. During your Shavasana, I send you all love. Just breathe, take this time. Thank mm -hmm. you. 